Hi, this is Travis Romine, and today we're going to be talking about my electric bill with Tesla solar panels, Southern California Edison, July 2021. Let's go. All right, well, this is part of my series of never paying for electricity again and never paying for gasoline again with my solar panels and overproducing and getting net metering through Southern California Edison. I overproduce more energy than I use, so I never pay for electricity again. And with an electric car, I charge up for free from the sun, so I never pay for gasoline again. So this is a series that I've been documenting over the next, uh, over the year, this past year, I'm in my seventh month now. So I got past videos talking about that. And I'm gonna do this all through the year to show all my bills at the end of the year to uh, kind of show how much money I've saved. So I'm just trying to spread the information. Okay, well I do videos every single month on my solar production and I do videos on my Southern California Edison bill with my solar panel. So if you'd like to get that information, like and subscribe. Um, I also have a Tesla referral code down in the description. If you wanna buy solar through Tesla, you get $100 off. If you wanna buy a Tesla car, you get a thousand free charging miles. So uh, if you'd like to use that, just it's down in the description. I also um, did a video on my solar panel cost and installation. I'll put that link in the description below if you wanna see all that. All right, some quick specs on my solar system. I live just above San Diego in the Temecula Murrieta Valley. Um, my system is 12.24 kilowatts. It is 36 panels at 340 kilowatts. They're Q-cell panels that I got through Tesla. And my panels place, face east-west with my largest array facing west. Yeah, sometimes when you're in the neighborhood, you can see your solar panels up there and you're always like, I hope somebody doesn't come up there and mess with them or turn off my panels with these switches that are out here outside the gate. So I put up a little warning here in case anybody wants to mess around with my panels. Stay away from my solar panels. Serious injury or death may occur. <laughs> yeah, well, this is how much Southern California Edison charges me for my summer rates. Anywhere from 17 cents to 45 cents in the summer. And the winter rates are pretty similar. They're 17 cents or 41 cents. So, you know, it averages out, you know, give or take each month around 23 cents um, per kilowatt. So these are the prices if I was didn't have solar. So if I take the 1,706 kilowatts that I used this month times 23 cents, it would be $392.38. So that's what my bill would have been if I didn't have solar. So let's go ahead and take a look at my... Southern California Edison bill with solar, how much did it cost? All right, well, here's my July 2021 electric bill through Southern California Edison. Um, as you can see here, my uh, previous bill was $12.99. And this month, my new charges is $14.45. So, yeah, I haven't been really paying much for electricity. This is just basically a connection fee that uh, they charge you every single month. It's usually anywhere between 10 and uh, $15. And that's just uh, a basic charge or a connection fee that they always charge. And at the end of the year, with all the extra credits that I get for all my overproducing of solar, they will compensate me for that and send me a check at the end of the year. And that will offset, hopefully, these uh, basic charges that they charge me every month. So I do this every month. So we'll see at the end of the year how it all works out. Um, right here on the right, it says, understanding your net energy metering. You are billed annually for your energy charges because they can be offset by energy credits over a 12-month billing period. Any charges not offset by the credits will become due at the end of the 12-month billing period. You also receive a monthly bill. It reflects the minimum amount due each month, which supports the cost of maintenance and operation of providing electricity. So, yeah, there's a difference between uh, energy credits and all these uh, basic charges, I call them, just to be connected to the grid. So those are separated out. So as we scroll down here a little bit, you'll see that the uh, year-to-date charges, so as of year-to-date... I have a credit of 994.19, and uh, right here it explains kind of how that all works. 
You do not owe any energy charges as of this month. Only make the payment for this month's new charges. Keep track of the year-to-date charges as you may have charges in the future. If you are a net generator, which I am, at the end of the 12-month billing period, you may be eligible for net surplus compensation. Yes. So I'm guessing at the end of the year, I'll get around $200, give or take. So that uh, check that Southern California Edison will send me for around $200 will offset this basic charge. So yeah, by the end of the year, the plan is to never pay for electricity and get a little bit of money back. So that's the plan. We'll see how it works in January. I'm in my seventh month now of my 12-month billing period. All right, as we scroll down, you can see this is just basic information. You can pause and read this if you want to read a lot of these details. I'll scroll down to more interesting information. This is my uh, summer cost period. So basically, uh, on peak, mid peak, and off peak. Really, uh, my uh, mid peak and off peak are the same price. So it's really about on peak. Um, anytime between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m., they charge a lot more, you know, like twice as much. So using electricity any other time besides between 4 to 9 p.m. Um, is when you want to use your electricity. So this is a breakdown of my uh, past and current electricity usage. So yeah, these are the summer rates. They have summer and winter rates. So right now for my consumption, you can see uh, on peak, mid peak and off peak and my net generation. So what I've um, produced and sent back to the grid versus what I've pulled from the grid. And the net difference between those two is I have sent um, 454 kilowatt hours more than I have used. So that will be my credit for this month. And as I scroll down here, you can kind of look at the, from month to month, you can tell in January is when I turned on my solar panels. Um, I turned them on like mid, early, mid January. So yeah, that kind of shows, you know, all the extra credits that I've sent. I overproduce a lot. Um, I got a big size uh, solar panel system because I plan on getting a couple more electric cars and using a lot more energy in the future. So I future proofed it by getting a big system and then uh, it'll work out in the long run. So we'll see. <laughs> so last year, you can see that my average daily kilowatt hour was 34.9. And this year, it's a uh, <laughs> negative credit of 14.65. So yeah, it's working out good. So that's all my months there. And then as we scroll down, details of your new charges. Um, I'm on the time of use prime care plan. So as you can see, these are the breakdown of the basic charge or connection fee um, that I that I get every month and they have these non bypassable charges so if you just add up all these little fees um, you can see that at the end of the day for being connected to the grid I owe 1445 so yeah that's my uh, bill that I'll pay this month and then uh, at the end of the year I'll get money back <clears throat> and I'll offset that so I won't have paid for electricity but we'll see at the end of the year Right here, it says your overall energy charges include a 13, for 13 cent franchise fee. Yeah, whatever that is. Additional information, service voltage 240 volts. I do have a 240 for my air conditioner and my uh, charge my electric car. At the bottom there, it says a net surplus compensation option rollover. Um, I do not want rollover because I uh, overproduce. I don't need to roll over my credits um, from this year to next year and use them because I can't use them because I'm going to overproduce again next year. So I'm just going to constantly overproduce and have way more energy than I can use. So I don't want to roll over my credits. I want to check for them. So at the end of the year, that rollover will be changed to check and they'll send me a check in the mail for, um, I'm assuming around $200, but we'll see what it is. All right, as we scroll down here, just more basic information on charges and different things if you wanna pause and read that. Um, things you should know. So it looks like this is another fee that they're tacking on for fixed recovery charge. Yeah, so this looks like to service their system and their cables and everything, they have another fee. So yeah, one fee after another fee after another fee. So this is just explaining the latest one depending on which plan you're on and what they charge you for it per kilowatt hour. Details of your tracked charges. Okay, so this just shows how much uh, delivery charges break down on the on-peak, mid-peak, and off-peak. So you can see how much I've used and what they charge me for it. And my 
generation charges, so what I've sent back to the grid, what I've generated and sent back. When I generate electricity on the roof, it goes into the house. Whatever I don't use out of the house, then it gets sent back to the grid. It doesn't get sent to the grid first and then pulled back. So if I'm producing uh, energy from the sun, it goes directly into my house first. So yeah, this is what I've sent back to the grid and uh, netted a credit of 7128. So as you can see right here, on the right side, it kind of breaks it down for the year to date and month. So additional information regarding your net consumption generation. Your year to date energy charges total as of previous month, what I've already had was a credit of 922.93. This month, your current month energy charge, I got a credit of 71.26. So year to date, as of right now, I have an energy credit of 994.19. And if you break that down into kilowatt hours, so far I have sent back more than I've used 5,918 kilowatt hours. So at the end of the year, they will take those kilowatt hours and times them times uh, the compensation rate, which is usually between three and five cents, somewhere in that, that range. And that'll be the check that I get back. So yeah, I'll scroll down here and see if there's any more information. If you have any questions, go ahead and Put those in the comments. I try to answer every question I can. This is all just basic information down here. I'll just scroll through. You can pause and read it if you want to. All right, that's the end of it. So, all right, another great bill, and uh, everything's going great with the solar producing tons of extra energy and my bill just being completely wiped out. All right, well, it looks like my bill's going great so far. I'm in my seventh month. And uh, so far, everything's been going great as planned with solar in my electric car. I've noticed my neighbors have been getting more solar and more people are buying electric cars. So it looks like the word is spreading and everybody's realizing how much money they can save and how convenient it is to charge your car at home every day. You wake up every day with a full full charge. It's amazing. Haven't been to a gas station in almost three years. Can't beat it. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.